Greetings Special Centurions and welcome fellow YouTubers to my epic 100% playthrough of The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. This is going to be an epic playthrough guys. It's going to be, we're doing it on the hardest difficulty you can do, which in Oblivion is insanely difficult. So I should imagine, just to warn you, gameplay at the start is going to be a little bit slow. We're going to have to build the foundation of a really strong character. And yeah, we're going to be safe scumming. We're going to be cheesing. We're going to be doing everything we can to survive initially and get our character powerful enough to be able to kill stuff and fight because most enemies in this on hardest difficulty can one-shot you, two-shot you very easily, even through your block at the beginning. So it's going to be a long one, guys. Prepare for yourselves, settle in, get yourselves a drink, get yourselves a bevy, whatever you need. Sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Let's start. Start a new game. Yeah. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. Such a beautiful game, guys. Brings back so many memories. Absolutely loving it. Super excited to be bringing you this series. Can't wait to dive in and do some of these amazing quests. The Dark Brotherhood. Dark Brotherhood questline in this uh, game is easily the best one out of all the Elder Scrolls ones in my opinion. And just yeah, it's absolutely amazing this game. So I won't explain everything right off the bat because there's a huge amount of ground to cover to discuss and talk about. And I want to get into the game and start playing obviously so it's not too tiresome. I'll explain things that I'm doing as and when I'm doing them as we go. But as a disclaimer to start with, we're not going to be vamping up the difficulty until we get out of the sewers. Until we escape, we're not going to be um, increasing the difficulty because it's just, to be perfectly frank, too difficult. It is literally impossible. The rats down in the sewers will one-shot you. The goblins will one-shot you because you've got no armor, you've got no shield, you've got no skills, you've got no abilities, and yeah, you're just a squishy little fuck at the start of the game. So we can't increase the difficulty until we reach the, uh, the exit of the sewers. When we reach that point, that's basically the end of the tutorial and the start of the game anyway. So when we get outside into Tamriel, um, I will, oh, sorry, Cyrodiil, I will vamp up the difficulty to max then and we'll start playing then. Because at that point it's non-linear as well, we can go anywhere and do anything we want. So if we go to a particular place, get stuck on a particular quest line or can't, advance through a particular area because we're not powerful enough we can just move off to somewhere else and go and explore somewhere else and do something else until we get stronger and then we can come back so yeah looking forward to this one guys the race we're going to be playing is breton because oh no whoops is uh, breton they're my favorite race the reason why we go for breton is because they have extra 50 percent um not 50 percent they got yeah 50 percent magical resistance to energy to magical energy and um, they also um, learn summoning and healing magic a lot faster. Healing is one of the most useful things you can have in the game and learning it quicker is great. And on top of that, they also have plus 50 magic. And having a huge pool of magic in this game is incredibly useful. So we're also going to be born under the sign of the mage as well. There's another piece of information for you, which we haven't got to yet. Uh, we're going to randomize the face. And that actually looks a bit like me. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, we'll give this guy a beer. This will be him. 
uh, return. We want, uh, oh no, face. Oh, we can't give him beards. You can't give him facial hair. I don't think. No, it doesn't look like you can give him facial hair. Hair neutral, yeah. You can only ch change. That's a shame. I was going to give him a goatee and be like, that's me. That's what I look like in real life, chat. <laughs> that's what I look like in real life, chat. If I was a monk, fuck no. <laughs> uh, we'll go for, it doesn't really matter what you look like. Cause you're just going to, you spend all this time customizing a character and making them look amazing or how you want them to look. And then you just never see them for the rest of the game. So that will do. We'll do that. The hair color is not going to be light brown. We're going to have a sexy red. Like that, purplish reds, mahogany. Oh, I've got mahogany hair, yes. All right, length, we're gonna have super, not short, super long. Gonna have super long mahogany hair. Oh yeah, that's it, okay. Ponytail, eyes, we don't want brown eyes. We're, we're brown enough as it is. Blue eyes, green eyes, we only have, we'll go for blue because they look crazy. We're gonna go for nice and young because this is gonna be a really long playthrough and we don't want to die of old age before we finish. And complexion can be the bottom one as well. So that's it. That's what we look like, guys. Oh, I haven't entered a name. The name shall be Silly Butts, the Explorer. Silly Butts, the Adventurer. Warrior with so much fear. Uh, done. Yes, I want to be a Breton. Right, I just need to check the sensitivity. To move forward, push W. Yes, yeah. To run, push left shift. Oh, you can run in this game. I thought so. Okay, the first thing you need to do is change some of these options. The control scheme, controls. Uh, I want instead of uh, always run caps, also move Q, jump. Instead of jump to be E, I want it to be space. And instead of interact. Instead of activate, I want, yeah, I want activate to be E and I want jump to be space. Okay, that's good, yeah. Return, return. The reason why I want jump activated is so I can start jumping immediately. And the reason why this is important is because it levels up your acrobatic skill. Yeah. You're not very nice, you know that, mister. You're really not very nice. You hear that? The guards are coming. They're coming for you, mate. They're coming for you because you want to shut up and stop running your mouth off. Finally, thank you. Uh, I'll explain why I'm jumping a lot in a minute. Some of you will probably already know this. But let's focus on the storyline for the moment. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. He won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. I oh, hesitate you to kill you. Stand yeah, aside. yeah. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. Right, fine. I'm gonna go stand by this window, but it's not because you're telling me to do so. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna go stand here because I want to look out the window. That's the only reason. It's not because you're telling me. Now. No time to stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. The one from my dreams. The one from my dreams. Ah. The stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. What's going on? Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Oh. Who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tambriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tambriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Don't tell me what to do, fucker. I don't care if you're the emperor or not. I'll kill you. The gods I'll kill you, guy. Here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. Thank goodness, because I was buggering a cow. What should I do? You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep 
Oh, very secret, convenient, hidden passageway. If only I'd known about that before. Yeah, you are? Come here, I'll say that's my face. I dare you. I'm just going to save it because I'm probably going to mess around a bit and I don't want to have to keep redoing the start. For example, BAM! Yeah? What are you going to do about it? BAM! <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the butt. Butt punch. Oh my god, he took it as a compliment. That's hilarious. He's like, you're lucky I like you, otherwise I'd kill you for slapping my ass. Yeah, so now that most of the talking's done, the reason why we're jumping is because it gets your acrobatics up, which means you can jump higher. And, oh, the captain just dies immediately, yeah, doesn't she? The reason why it's useful for being able to jump higher is when you get into the ruins later on, you can jump and collect the welcoming stones off of the walls and welcoming stones re increase your restore your mana i should say which is incredibly useful take all of that did she drop her sword she usually drops a sword that's really good she has a really nice uh saber or something that she sometimes drops no it looks like it's gone Sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. Die, rat. I crush you good with my hands. Can I not go this way? Use the key, okay. So, yeah, um... These rats, if you put it on the hardest difficulty now, these rats just absolutely fucking wreck you. Like, there's no way to defeat the rats. They, they take so much damage and you don't have any skills or any armor. No way to block them or stop them. And you basically can't get past them and you just die over and over again. Trust me, I've tried. You're welcome to give it a go. I do want to make some progress in this playthrough. So, yeah, initially we're going to be playing it on the normal difficulty until we get out of the sewers. At which point... Um, will increase the the difficulty uh yeah if we look here the breton no it's this one isn't it yes the breton has 50 plus 50 magicka and resist magic 50 as well which is really nice it's my favorite class where's the rat there it is heal off the magic or the damage Take all. Do, do, do. Uh How do you drop stuff? Shift. Shift seems to drop it, I think. Yeah, shift is dropping it. Okay. Did that count? No, I think it bounced off. There we go. Bounce off the wall behind it. Right. And I'm going to pick this lock to get the experience. So I mentioned at the start, we oh, I didn't know I could we go straight through. Let's go back. Let me in. There's a, something here. Oh, wait. Give me that. I want this. I want all of this. Take all. I'm a terrible shot. I'm so bad at this. So yeah, I mentioned at the start that we're going to be cheesing it. What I meant by cheesing is uh, we're going to be 
leveling up all our skills in any way we can and if we get into a fight that's too difficult we're going to see see if we can find some high ground and just uh, shoot the shit out of people while they're below us running into the wall that kind of thing uh, we're just going to take advantage of every every possible stratagem we can to get us progress in this because the enemies are so insanely tanky on hard mode that Oh, I'm so bad at this. Come here, rat. I'm trying to get my archery skill up. By shooting rats in a barrel. Oh shit, zombie! I forgot about him. So I'm trying to get bow up now. I'm using the bow because it's hard to get the bow up and you need to get your bow skill level high enough that you can compete with the enemy archers when you actually get out of the dungeons. So basically in order to get your bow up, you need a target, an actual target that uh, has health and they move around so much and dodge about, it's really difficult, unless they're an archer, it's really difficult to... Um... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, this is so much easier on a gamepad than it is on the mouse and keyboard. It's so sensitive on the mouse and keyboard. When you release the mouse button, you, you like squish to the right, shift to the right, and it misses the shot. Yeah. Take all. Cast some healing. Oh, yeah, that's the time you do magic earlier, didn't it? I forgot. Oh well. Sneak attack. There should be another rat down here somewhere. Can't remember where. No, maybe not. Huh, marksman skill increased, even though that's weird. Oh, it's because I had an arrow drawn. I get it. Yeah. There is another rat. Oops, didn't mean to pick up that bone. I thought it was a sword or a dagger or something. Put it away in a minute when we get to the next chest, which is there. I thought you were a dead rat. Otherwise I'd have sneak attacked you. A couple of arrows in the face. <laughs> Damn it. So yeah, this isn't going to be a speed run of any sort. There's no way in hell are we doing a speed run on the hardest difficulty. We're just going to take our time, enjoy the game. I know it's an old game and many of you have probably seen it already, but the fun in this is going to be the challenge rating. Uh, the difficulty in Oblivion is insanely high and putting it on the highest difficulty makes it even harder. So there's going to be times when I'm just sat on top of a wall somewhere shooting the shit out of someone below me. Basically doing no damage to them whatsoever. Uh, just to get our marksman skill up, for example. Or get our destruction skill up. Or get a various whatever else skill up. Sneak or whatever. You basically always sneak everywhere because snake, you don't know when you're going to get 
experience from sneak. You just get it randomly as you're sneaking around. So if you sneak everywhere, yeah, you just randomly get experience. Even if you don't know there's an enemy there. Plus it always warns you if there's an enemy around before the enemy comes and attacks you because your eye will get lit up when you get noticed. And that's incredibly useful. You can hold key items and spells by holding down a number key and then clicking on the item you want in the slot. Okay. Take this for alchemy. Save it. Now, just like that fool, I just shot you in the back of the head. He goes down with an arrow in the face. I don't think any music at the moment. I might have to turn the music up. Options, audio. Ah, oh, the music's on really low for some reason, that's why. Music in this game is incredibly loud. We'll put it to there. We'll put it up a bit more. Right, return. There we go, that's better. Okay. Stinkhorn cap, mortar and pestle, that and that. Is there anything in the chest? No. Let's take the rat meat. I am going to be leveling up lock picking, even though we're going to go basically magic. This is because until we're a master of magic and can unlock any single lock in the game, every lock in the game, you need lock picking to be high enough to be able to get you through places, get you into chests and through doors. Oh, he set the trap off for us. That's good. Thank you very much, Mr. Goblin. So yeah, until you can, until you're a master at alteration and can un unlock the very hard locks, you need to be able to lock pick to get through very hard locks. So we are going to level lock picking as we go, as well as buying lock picking spells, which seems counterintuitive. But you want to level up as much as possible because you don't know the situation you'll end up in. You want as many skills and as many different things as you can possibly get. I think there's a golden archer down here, isn't there? Yeah. Ow. I know I could set the trap off and kill them with the wood, with the logs, but then I wouldn't be getting the XP that I'm getting now. It's more important to get XP and level up while we can, as much as we can. Over encumbered already, so what crap can we get rid of? This is only worth three, and there's two of them. No, we need to shift, shift. Uh, we're gonna be leveling up Blade, because in my opinion, one of the best um, best weapons in the game is Chillrend, if you get a good version of Chillrend, 
which is a blade. Uh, on top of that, the disarm, the power attack disarm that you get for being a journeyman in blade is going to be incredibly useful for us. Maybe blunt. I think blunt has a stun, but you don't get that till expert or something, if I remember. So that could be useful as well. But blunt's a lot slower, I think, than blade is. And like I said, chill rend is the most one of the most powerful weapons in the game, and that is a sword. So that is what we're going to be going for in this playthrough. But I'll show you what we're gonna. Um, what level what skills we're going to pick as our main skills in a bit when we get to that moment i mean drop some of this shit that's really heavy but not worth very much for example the rusty war axes can all go shift shift that's better Don't want the knife. That's not a knife. I wonder if he shoots. Oh, there's a goblin over there. Fucking mouse is so sensitive. You release the trigger and it pulls it to the right. Need an analog stick. Need a gamepad, really, to be playing this. So I'm playing on a laptop at the moment, guys. I am on holiday at the moment, which is why I'm playing a recording game rather than a live streaming it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing on a gamepad when I get home, but for the moment it's mouse and keyboard, which I hate compared to a gamepad. Look at that, riddled with arrows. Probably the rat meat we can drop in a minute as well. That'll dump a load of uh, weight that we're carrying. Oh, poor little rat was washing himself. Didn't even see the bolt coming, the arrow coming. I think there's a shaman behind there. Yeah, I got him. Need to be able to stand up here. Got him. All right, that's everything cleared here, I think, as far as I remember. Let's get the iron arrow, petty soldier, and the flawed ruby. And where is his staff? Goblin witch, where did the staff go? We want the staff. Hello, where's your friggin' staff gone? Oh, I can't see. Let's pull out the old torch. <sighs> Need to get our sword out. Put the fucking weapons away, pull out the torch. Right, where did his staff go? Did it fall down here? No, it disappeared. Fuck's sake. The most valuable thing in this entire area is the wizard's staff that you get off him. And it's fucking disappeared. It despawned or it fell through the floor. That's annoying. I should have saved it. There's a chance of that happening. I should have saved it and then we could have loaded. I don't want to save scum in that regard. I don't want to save scum loot. I don't want to... The only time I want to load is when we've been killed, basically. And uh, when we're in battle and we die and we fall, that's the only time I'm going to save scum it. I'm going to be saving as frequently as I can once we're on the hardest difficulty so we don't lose progress and we can actually make progress at some point. Uh, if we die, we don't lose too much progress, basically, because die is what we're going to do a lot. Nice, a repair hammer. Don't want all that rat meat. Can't use that much rat meat. Iron longsword, that's not worth it. 20 weight is too heavy. I need to heal. Get the 
bow out again. Right, we should be rejoining the emperor again now. Yeah, here it is. Save it. No, save it. Over. No, save it over the proper save. Thank you. How are we doing on time? Still got 24 minutes. Nice, we've got enough time to make our class. Especially because I know exactly what I'm picking. Surprise, cockface, it's me. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to. It was an accident, I swear. I swear it was an accident I shot you. It is. It's me, guys. How you doing? No, he is not one of them. How do you know that? How do you know that? I could easily kill. I could easily kill you right now. I'm they powerful. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I ex listen? You know the nine. I'm not on terms with the gods. I've the nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. So we're going to go with the mage because it gives you plus 50 points to magic, and like I said, having a huge pool of magic is incredibly useful. The signs I read show the end of my path, my death. Your stars are not mine. Today the maid shall light your way on the paths of glory. Yes, it will. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. Yeah, mate. With such hope and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. That's right. That's all I can no do. I'll satisfy you good, though. Precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. That's very noble of you. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Okay, well, good luck out there, buddy. Good luck with the whole death thing, you know. Ooh, another arrow. Keep leveling, jump. Oh, shot you again. My bad, buddy. You thought we'd go down easy. You may as well make yourself useful. Uh, okay. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, we do not. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets. Okay. See you later, Barris. Love you, man. Sit close, okay? Love your work. Where'd the other one go? Get all the potions off them because they're useful. Is there a treasure chest somewhere? No. I need to heal. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you, buddy. I swear that was an accident as well. The Emperor is in danger! Oh, there's a treasure chest. Protect the Emperor. Meh. Mysterious door. I think if I shoot them a little bit. You're lucky I like you. He's just got an arrow in his back. He's just like, oh, you're lucky I like you, even though you shot me in the back. <laughs>
course, I'm going to ignore him and immediately go f go forward. We're almost through to the sewers. The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! That's a trap. Worth a try. Let's go. And the Emperor's like, what are you doing, you fucking clown? Stop jumping around like a lunatic. And I'm like, no! I need to do my squat thrusts. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? I don't know. I don't see any good options here. They're behind us! Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Well, that's not going to end well for anyone, let's be honest. I'm not very competent. My life doesn't mean anything. My life is worthless. Uh, hello. You right? I can go no further. Ooh, amulet. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion okay okay uh dude there's a guy behind you watch out oh he totally died he saw it coming as well he's like huh <laughs> he's just like <laughs> don't even know what that was it's fucking funny though <laughs> potion of night eye nice sorry dude it wasn't me i swear Oh, don't look at me, buddy. I didn't do anything. It was the Amulet of Kings. It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Uh, he gave it to me, yeah. I didn't steal Strange. it. He saw something in hey, you just believe me? You're a sucker. No wonder the Emperor's it's dead. The dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than less and less. The Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The Amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There's another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He is the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wayman Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Okay. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced agent. Am I right? Agent of chaos. Okay, so we're going to do custom class, obviously. I just want to pick a picture that I really like that looks really cool. Uh, all very suitable. I think there's one down here who's just like looking at flowers. Yeah, that's me. That's definitely me. Custom class on that picture. So we're going to go with stealth because the specialization get, they increase faster. And we're going to, the most of the stealth skills are skills that we're not really, that are really difficult to level up. So security, sneak, speech craft, marksman are all quite hard to level up um, when you're not really using them. So we're going to pick uh, stealth, even though we're not going to be a stealth character, because that'll level them up faster. And then we pick two favorite attributes to gain five in each one. First one you go for is endurance, because endurance determines how much your health increases when you raise levels. Uh, so you want endurance to max out as quickly as possible, because then each time you level up, you get the maximum amount of hit points possible added to your max hit points. Uh, so that, and then we're going to go for speed, because we need to be able to run around. We need to be able to outrun the enemies, especially in this difficulty mode. We need to be able to kite. We need to be able to skirt enemies and run backwards, throwing fireballs and all manner of spells at them whilst they charge around like idiots. Um, so endurance and speed are the best two, in my opinion, that you go for at the start. Uh, so that's that. And then for the seven major skills, we're going to pick seven skills that we can control how quickly or how slowly or basically just determine ourselves how often we level up, so to speak. So we're going to take Alteration, Armorer, Blade, Conjuration, 
illusion, mysticism, restoration. So we're picking all of the magic, um, all of the schools of magic apart from destruction because we're going to use our offensive capability is going to be blade skills and that's just going to go up really quickly as we attack people. And then we're getting armorer because armorer is actually really easy. One, it's really easy to level up. But two, it's actually incredibly useful to max out. Like being able to increase your weapon's um, durability by 25% and therefore in buffing its damage and also only carrying around one repair hammer to keep all of your items in tip-top gear is actually incredibly useful. So we want to max it out. Regardless of whether or not it was going to be our major skill, we were going to level up armory. So we might as well give it a boost now. And then the other ones we go for are magic. The reason why we go for magic is because you can run around casting spells randomly, even if you don't need them at the time, to level up or not do that if you don't want to level up that quickly. So it basically allows you to control the rate at which you level up. The reason why that's important, particularly on the hardest difficulty that we're going to be playing on, is because if you level up too quickly, then all of your passive skills that you're not really using to level up, things like block, heavy armor, um, what else, security, sneak, all these things that you don't level up as quickly, uh, don't get used that much, and then you level up and everything else becomes insanely powerful, and then your scores like blocking and armor are still really low and you just get absolutely destroyed. So this is the best way of doing a balanced character that will level up evenly across everything. So we've picked stealth so that all of these skills that we're not using level up faster than the skills that we want to be using constantly. We're picking now as major skills to start them at level 25. So they start at a higher level, which means everything will catch up and balance out to be a balanced, well-adjusted well character by the time we're a journeyman in all the skills that matter and by the time we get to like level 20 24 when everything else in the world starts leveling up as well and becoming even more powerful than it's already going to be because of the hardest difficulty so that's my plan for it the name for the custom class shall be the special one no that we can't do it so we're just gonna do special one special one okay so we are a special one and he's like oh look at the flower he's a pretty flower isn't it guys and everyone else is like ah cha ya summoning fireballs and blowing the shit out of everything around them <laughs> so done uh wait let's just check stealth yes speed and endurance yes and alteration armor blade conjuration illusion misses and restoration yep good i wasn't far off uh yes you were Rats you were miles off you had no clue that i was a special one must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Don't tell me what to do. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Yes, it was. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. Oh boy, it sure was. <laughs> may Talos guide you. Okay, so now that we've got all of the skills we can start kicking ass. Let's just get to the sewer exit and then I'll end the episode of the sewer exit if I can get there in time. I've got about 10 minutes left. But I think the sewers are quite long actually. Well, not long, but fairly, fairly long. There's like a couple of battles down here that we have to get through. Let's just save it now that we don't have to do the class again. Sneaking along. So you're sneaking because there might be an enemy around here. Yeah, there you go. So not only do they, not only does it indicate you've been seen, so it shows you where an enemy is, but we also would have got sneak experience for the moments that we approached the creature um, without it noticing us. Go over here and get these barrels. That's a lot of cheese. Mm-mm-mm, delicious, creamy sewer cheese. The best kind, chat. 
But let's do some alchemy now that we've got overweight. Going to add some ingredients. Apple, cheese wedge. This is so much faster on uh, controller. I can't wait till I've got my gamepad on at home and I can actually do this really quickly. We are going to be getting our alchemy up. The reason why you get alchemy up is so that you can craft health and mana potions, but also it's useful for creating potions in general in the early game that you can then sell. We're going to need to eat some of these ingredients that are really heavy. The cheese wheels, for example. And then the 24 rat meat is just not worth... Well, we'll keep it on it for the moment. We can drop it later if we need to drop it later. May 17 for 15. No thanks. Blow! Iron short sword. Yeah, we'll take that. Iron arrow, garlic, lockpick. I think that's everything that is down here. Where did my arrow go? There it is. Oh, no, there's a chest here. Aha! Almost missed that. That was important. A couple of lockpicks and some iron arrows. Glad I didn't miss that. Jeez. We're fucking loaded, chat. Now we can retire. Nope. Nothing over there. Rat. Blamo. Did that miss? It went between his legs. Are you kidding? Thank you. Do, 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 do. And I think this leads to the exit, doesn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. So we made it, chat. We made it. Oh, there's another rat. Let's just take him out quickly. Right, let's drop a save here because it's worth saving because it's the end of the tutorial and you can just edit stuff as and when you need. If you want to come back and create another character, then you don't have to go through the hassle of the, the rigmarole of the of the whole tutorial, you can just load that save, and uh, yeah. Save game, leave that save. Uh, options, gameplay, difficulty up to max, return. Yeah, return, sorry. Wait, is that all? Let me just check that. Gameplay, save on rest, save on, yeah, okay, good. Save it. Right, guys, so that's the first episode. We are now set up. We are now on the hardest difficulty. We have now left the... There's a mud crab over there. I'm going to get devastated in a minute. But yeah, I'm going to leave things there. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys, and watching the episode. I hugely appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you're having a good time and looking forward to the rest of the series. It makes a huge difference in the YouTube algorithm, and since this is the first episode, I greatly appreciate your support on it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more content so you don't miss out on the next Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion episode. Uh, I'm going to see you all in the next episode, guys. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, Sal, wait till next time.